What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? I want to welcome you back to the Enlightenment Broadcast here on Facebook, also on Instagram. And if you're listening on YouTube, thank you so much for joining us today for this broadcast. I'm Jay Moore, your healthy accountant, helping you to account for your life. We are on, ep this is episode 123, and uh, there are some big changes coming coming to the healthy accountant. And so, um, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you about these changes because one thought can change your life. That is what we're talking about today. How one thought you are one idea. You are, you are simply one. I'm talking about just one idea into your, into your mind, your spirit could, 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 could totally transform everything about you. And I'm going to share with you a story and this story is about a thought that came over my life. You know, it was it was several years ago. I was probably chilling, you know, um, not doing much, uh, not even, you know, I wasn't the I wasn't the person that I am. I was I was not an exerciser. I didn't really I mean, I kind of paid attention to food and stuff and I wanted to eat better. I wanted to, you know, um, you know, work out. Uh, but, you know, life would always get in the way. I would always make the excuse and say, hey, you know, it's no point in doing it. I don't have any time anyway. And, you know, I was, the guy, you know, the guy that was just, you know, going through life, hoping that I would get to a destination. And one day, you know, there's always a day that you 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 sit down and you just say, man, what in the world am I doing? And, the, and that day came. That day came. And, you know, the interesting thing about this day is that when the day came, it was almost like, man, I've gotten all the way to this point. And what do I have to show for it? See, here's the question. Here's the question, right? What do I have to show for it? Is there anything more for my life? Is there anything that I should be doing? And boom, it came. I'm talking about it came right then and there. Told me who I, who I was. Guys, you have got to get this. If you cannot answer the question, who am I? Then what's the point? Because that's everything. Who you are, what your who your what your identity is, is everything. One thought, one idea. See, a lot of times we we go to church, we pray. Oh Lord, please help me this, help me this, and help me this. Do this for me, and Lord, I won't do it again. And but he's he's just asking. You, Did you ask the question? Are you are you asking me the right question or are you constantly worrying and, and you know, and praying over things that you don't even understand? <clears throat> you don't even understand some of the curses that's on your life that you can't even take off because you're unaware of it. See, many people have lost faith in the church, in religion. They've lost faith in God, period. They've lost it. It lost it because, you know, the life that's normal is, you know, is, is beating us to death. I'm talking about tearing us to pieces. You know, as I, you know, a friend of mine, me and my man Chuck was talking the other day and we were talking about Kobe and he was sharing with me how, man, it, it, it makes me tear up. Sharing with me, man, I said, I, I, Jay, man, I'm just hurt, man, Kobe, you know, man, that was my man and he, you realize most of us don't even know this man. And here it is, you know, many people are crying or weeping or saying, man, and we talk, we must have talked for about an hour. And so we were just kind of talking and kicking it and, you know, and reminiscing and, and saying all the things that we know we have to do in our life. And, and so he said, man, I got to go. Right. Uh, but as he was getting on, he, you know, he's walking in the house and, you know, this was on Tuesday night. And, and that was the night when when the Clippers were supposed to play, um, you know, the Lakers, but they postponed the game and they've got Shaq and Ernie and all these guys. They're at the Staples Center and they're on the round table. He's walking in the house. My TV was off. He's walking in the house. He turned on the TV and all he saw, he says, man, Shaq is up here crying, man. You got to turn this on. So I turned it on. I see that. And so he said, man, I got to go. I'll talk to you later. But while we were talking, we talked about faith we talked about how 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 this event 
this event is, man, I'm telling you, it's going to do something to people. Not just, you know, some people are going to be hurt. A lot of people are going to be hurt. The family is hurt, but it's going to push this man's legacy. It's going to push it further and it's going to go faster than it could have gone with him alive. And we heard a statement. I heard a statement from Ernie Johnson of TNT. He says, man, because of this tragedy, losing somebody, it's, it seems like it's, it's helping people to reconnect with their faith. Guys, on the back of the healthy accountant shirt says, account for your life, faith, fitness, finances. But here's the thing. The healthy accountant was born through one thought. One thought came in one day and it says, you are. See, I'm not just a healthy accountant. I'm someone that can, that can, that can see things. I'm someone that could hear things. I'm someone that could do things. I'm someone that could manifest and I'm I am someone that could change a a specific area of the world and help people that only I can do one thought came in and it changed everything about my life and I didn't understand it for for some time. And I was saying, oh, I'm the healthy cat. I'm, I don't know what it was. I thought I was just somebody that was in shape. But you know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about getting in shape in your in your mind, getting in shape, understanding and connecting to the source, the spirit in which who created you, getting in shape and understanding that your body is a temple, getting in shape and understanding that, you know, inside your body is one thing. Then you got the outside of the body that you got to work on, getting in shape and understanding your finances, your business, getting in shape and understand that you got relationships and family. All these things make up a life. And I am the healthy accountant. I am the person that is supposed to go into this place of business and teach people from the root cause of the problem. Why are why are we not earning more money? Why are we having problems in, in our marriages? Why are we having problems in our bodies? Why are we having problems at our churches? Why are we having problems in our minds? Why are we having problems in our finances? The healthy accountant was born to solve a piece. Can't solve it all. Solve peace of these issues in life. One thought. You are one thought away. You are one idea from your true self. You are one idea, one thought from changing everything. Guys, if God was to impart the thought right now, it might take you 10 years to manifest it. It, it doesn't go overnight because he imparts the thought and it takes time for you to grow. Because he's like, I'm not just going to give you all this stuff. I'm going to have you work on it. You got to build it up. You know, if you go to Luke chapter, um, oh my goodness, uh, it'll come back to me, but it's in Luke <clears throat> 17, I think five through 10. I think that's what it is. And the disciples were asking, Hey, Hey Jesus, can you increase our faith? Can, can you help us to believe stronger? And he goes through this story and he talks about, he says, well, yes, I can increase your faith. And, you know, he talks about the mold, but he talks about the tree and how, you know, well, if you had faith of a most mustard seed that, you know, you'd be able to do these things. And he says, well, what, but if you were you know, the master and your servants are outside in the field. Tell me something. When the servant comes in, are you going to tell the servant to sit down to have dinner? Are you going to prepare for them? Or does the servant have to come in from the outside, doing their work, come in the house, do work, get your food together and, and pretty much handle handle that for you? And then after they've after they've taken care of your needs, then they can go and eat and, and take the shoes off. So he talked about this in the context is this. Do your work. Be accountable for what you must do and over and, and when you do this over and over and over, you will build your faith. 
the healthy accountant stands on that principle of building your faith. So guys, I got I to gotta run. But here's the thing. You are one thought, one idea away from changing your life. Guys, if you have not followed this page, follow the page, like the page, uh, subscribe to our channel because my job is to teach you. That's right. My job is to teach you the principles uh, of how to run your business, teach you the principle of how to run your life, teach you what you need to know so that you can get better. Now, here's the thing. Yes, you can come here and listen 10 minutes. Uh, you, you can listen to every video. You can even opt into different things and get emails. Um, but here's the thing. At some point, you may want to actually work with the healthy accountant and you'll be able to do that. That's your choice. That's not a requirement, but I'd love to be able to teach you, mentor you on, on, on these principles that have helped me to take one thought, change my life, change my family life, change my community all around me. So I appreciate you for joining me today. I look forward to connecting with you and I love you. Just, just know that if no one tells you today that they love you, I love you. I care for you and I wish you the best account for your life. And I'll see you soon. God bless. Take care.